Is walking good for bone on bone knee pain? I'm Dr. Dave Candy, and in this video, I'm going to explain if walking is good for bone on bone knee pain, what exactly bone on bone knee pain means in terms of knee arthritis, and some simple tips that you can use to relieve knee pain when walking, regardless of what grade of arthritis that you have. So, first of all, there's almost no situation in which walking is bad for knee pain or bad for knee arthritis, but there are some tips that you want to keep in mind. Now, what does bone on bone knee pain mean exactly? When you have knee arthritis, a lot of times doctors will refer to it as bone on bone, but there are actually four different grades of knee arthritis with grade one being the most mild. You can barely see any difference from a normal x-ray. Grades two and three are a little bit more severe. And then grade four is really where the joint space is closed down almost completely. And you have the bone of the femur above with the bone of the tibia below, and there's no cartilage in between. Now, in that case, when you have the bone rubbing on the bone without that lubricating fluid or cartilage in between, then you can get some inflammation and that can cause some knee pain when you're walking. But that doesn't necessarily mean that walking is a bad thing for you to do. Now, if you have the lower grades of knee arthritis, grades one, two, and three, walking is actually really, really, really good for cartilage health because when you move your knee and you bend it back and forth and you bear weight on it, it kind of squishes a lubricating fluid out of the cartilage surfaces that helps lubricate the joint and make it move a little bit more easily without as much pain or friction. Now, if you have grade four or bone on bone knee pain, Walking is still a good thing to do to maintain your mobility, regardless of whether or not you decide to have a knee replacement or not have a knee replacement. Remember that humans lived for thousands of years before knee replacements were invented, so no one really needs a knee replacement per se. But there are cases where if you are truly bone on bone, meaning grade four knee arthritis, then a knee replacement can be helpful to help you move around a little bit more comfortably. But if you decide that that's not an optimal fit for you, or you're not a good candidate, or you just don't like the risk of surgery, there are some tips that you can use to move around a little bit more comfortably, even if you do have bone-on-bone -bone knee pain. Now, some of the most common things that people feel when they have knee arthritis are pain around the knee cap, pain on the inside of the knee, or pain on the outside of the knee. But those problems actually aren't caused from the bone-on-bone -bone knee arthritis. The pain that you get from bone-on-bone -bone knee arthritis is usually deep inside the joint, like you can't touch it. It's where the two bones grind together and it's on the inner side of the joint, deep inside that joint capsule. So if you're having pain either on the inside of your knee or the outside of your knee or the front of your knee, that's unlikely to be caused by the actual joint problem, which means even if you have bone-on-bone -bone knee arthritis, that you could still have a knee replacement and possibly still have pain afterwards if that's not the cause of your pain. And remember that x-rays and MRIs, they don't always predict people who are in pain and people who aren't in pain. There are people who have really, really bad x-rays or MRIs, and that can be in your back, in your knee, in your shoulder, and have no pain at all. And then conversely, there are people who have pristine looking x-rays and have a lot of pain. So you want to make sure that even if you do have bone-on-bone -bone knee pain, that the pain is actually coming from inside the joint. But how do you walk more comfortably if you do have knee pain or knee arthritis or if you are bone-on-bone? -bone? Well, one of the most common causes of knee pain when you're walking is overpronation, meaning your foot flattens out too much and your knee goes inwards. That puts an abnormal bending force on the knee joint it compresses the tissues on the outer side, and it also stretches the tissues on the inner side. So if you have bone-on-bone -bone knee arthritis on the outside or lateral side of your joint, that pronation creates an increased compression on the outside. Now, more commonly, people will get bone-on-bone -bone knee arthritis on the inside, and you may even start to see them develop knock knees where the joints wear down on the inside. And in that case, you know, they may tend to oversupinate or go outwards too much. But in the case of where you pronate too much, which is one of the more common causes of knee pain when you're walking, 
One easy thing that you can do is think about hitting a little bit more on the outside of your foot. That lines your knee up a little bit more in a straight position like that. And so that you don't have that inward force where you're compressing the outside and stretching the tissues on the inner side of your knee when you're walking. Now, along with that, people often have pain because their calves are tight. And when they go to take a step and they can't get over top of their foot because their calves are too stiff, it causes them to find an alternate route around that, which is often that overpronation, where they'll turn their foot out and their knee will go inwards because they don't have the flexibility in their calves to take a step. And so taking shorter steps can help you in the short term to be able to walk more comfortably without your knee hurting if you do have knee arthritis. Now, ultimately you do wanna stretch your calves out and doing calf stretches, either standing like this and leaning forwards or leaning up against a wall are good ways to stretch your calves out so you can take longer steps when you're walking. But the short term fix is to take shorter steps. Now that also solves another common problem that causes knee pain when you have knee arthritis is weakness in the hip. That if you have trouble balancing your body over one leg and your knee goes inwards when you're standing or when you're walking, that also creates that abnormal valgus force at your knee where you compress on the outside and stretch on the inside. And by taking shorter steps, you don't have to be on one leg as long. So you don't need to have as much hip strength because you're not in single limb support for as long of a period of time. Again, that's a temporary fix. Ultimately, you don't want to be one of those people who walks around taking really short steps. But if your knee is hurting, that's a short-term fix to help get it better while you're working on improving your balance. For example, just practicing standing on one leg and stretching your calves. Now, another thing that can help people who have knee arthritis, and this is particularly for someone who naturally kind of toes out, where if you close your eyes and move around and place your feet on the floor just where they naturally fall, some people will naturally toe inwards, some people will naturally toe outwards, and some people will have their feet pointing straight ahead. Now, if you're someone who naturally toes outwards and you try to walk with your toes straight ahead, it's actually as if your hips are turned in that direction. And you don't wanna do that because that puts your knees in an abnormal position. So if you are someone who tends to naturally toe out like that, then walking and not forcing your toes point to point forwards, but walking with your toes outwards and kind of almost leading with your heel a little bit. So you're walking heels first can help you to relieve knee pain when you are walking. Now it may look a little bit weird, but if you're able to walk, then it's probably worthwhile. And to be perfectly honest, nobody besides you probably cares. Nobody is paying attention to your feet. They're more concerned with what they're doing and going about with their day rather than looking at, hey, look at that guy or that gal over there who's walking with their feet toed out. So those are some tips to help you walk a little bit more comfortably if you do have bone on bone knee pain or if you do have knee arthritis. Now, if you would like to avoid surgery, we'd be happy to help you out at More for Life. Just give us a call and we'll get you scheduled for an appointment. And if you're watching this from outside the St. Louis area, but you found the video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you can get notified of our future videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day.